Hey everybody, it's Steph Mischuk with Killer Sites and Other Sites. So in this vlog, I'm actually going to initiate a new style of find grained vlogs. Why? Because I'm getting a lot of questions that I've answered in longer blogs, well, longer vlogs, excuse me. And, uh, you know, sometimes my vlogs are eight minutes, 10 minutes. And I think that's a little too long for most people, so I'm going to try to cut them down to much more fine-grained detail. So anyway, here we go. The first one, careers and code. So careers and code. Essentially, when you are choosing the programming language, whether it be PHP, Swift, Java, C Sharp, Python, etc., 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 you have to consider a few things. A, you have to consider the type of work that you want to do, and B, you have to consider your level of education. So first of all, if you want to get into Java coding or C sharp coding, typically that means enterprise coding, meaning that means going to work for a very large company. So what does that mean? That means you need a degree. That means you need probably a higher degree. It doesn't have to be comp sci, but it could be uh, biology, it could be uh, legal, whatever. But typically when you get into Java work with Android development as, as the exception, you are going to be working for a larger organization. Larger organizations have HR departments, and because they have HR departments, they're going to want you to have some sort of higher education. Let's flip that. If you want to get into freelance development, freelance, you don't need any degrees. You don't need any high school. You don't even need high school, really. They don't care. When you're working in the freelance world, people don't care about your degrees. All they care about is your experience. And your experience can be demonstrated by the projects you have built. So at first, you build your own projects and you move on from there. So if you want to go to freelance route, I advise PHP server-side coding. There's another type of PHP, by the way. And maybe combine that with a little bit of WordPress development as well. I know some people hate WordPress. They, they think it stinks, but there's a lot of work in that. So that's something to consider for freelance. You don't need any degrees. You don't need, you just need to have a track record, which you can, I've talked about how to do that in other videos. If you want to go work for startups, then maybe you're looking at Python, Python Django. Maybe you're looking at Ruby. Although I wouldn't learn Ruby, I would maybe go more towards JavaScript instead. Although in the enterprise, there are opportunities for mobile development using Java, using Swift, or maybe even the HTML5 and Cordova, which is the HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, working together with a Cordova or some other framework used to build uh, apps for Android and iOS. Again, so there you go. So you have to always consider the uh, type of work you want to do, enterprise, C sharp, C sharp, Java, freelance, PHP, then of course, HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript. If you're doing PHP, you got to learn HTML5, CSS3, and JavaScript, a little bit of JavaScript, not too much. Or you can do a server-side JavaScript where you're going to get into more maybe startup culture where it'll care less about degrees, but it's not as free as freelance. Because with freelancing, by the way, I've been, I did freelancing for several years, and when you're a freelancer, last thing anybody will ever ask is what degrees you have. Actually, they never ask it. It's always about performance, which is kind of cool. So there you go. Short video, fine grade subjects, make it easy for you to find these videos on uh, my channel. Ciao.